right. Well, we're going to have a new day. Hey guys, welcome back to All Media Services. Today we're doing a service call on a Starlink system. Um, we actually have a, a Gen 2 system here that he does got some blockage. Um, so his signals are still pretty good. He's getting some good speeds. We ran tests at 100 plus megabits per second, but uh, he does have interference. And if you come close to the dish and you look around it, you can see that um, it's pretty low compared to where the house the house is here, especially that Eve is definitely going to be in the line of view and maybe even on the back side of the deck there where the wood is, there's going to be some interference. So we're actually going to take and mount it onto a pole and we're going to extend it just up above the roof and uh, get some clearance there, get the dish out of sight, out of mind as well, and hopefully improve those signals. So, how easy is this going to be? We're about to find out. So we're moving the dish over to this side of the deck and we're going to be going straight up and we want to be just in front of that eave. We have this longer 10 foot pole that we're going to be putting in and we're going to have a tripod. We're not just going to put it on, on one unit. Now this is really important to install right here because I have to make sure that this is lined straight otherwise that pole is not going to be straight. So I'm going to put, start by putting one in basically eyeball it that it's level right now. I use the inner the inner bolt pattern because I don't you don't want to ever be right on the edge of the roof or on the edge of the wood beam because it could potentially split. So I use the center ones in this case. Okay so we've taken and mounted the uh, the base for the this uh, extension pole with the tripod we've mounted it. Um, really important to keep this level. Um, because it's going to have a huge impact at the top of the pole if this is not level. So I've got my little angle meter here that I've always used for satellite installations for years and years. So easy to keep in the pocket, but I'm going to check all of the angles and make sure that this is straight as much as I can get it up and down. Because now I can just take and drop the pole into here and then we can attach the tripod arms and uh, get it, uh, get that dish installed. Put a little bit of tape on the end. Always put the tape on the end, protect your connections. Last thing you want is a piece of dirt that have ruined your whole Starlink experience. So the unique thing about this Gen 2 is that it's gonna run right up the center of the mass, uh, the cable mess, because it doesn't come on the outside of the pole. We'll show you some pictures once we get it up top, but let's get this run through the pole right now. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to attach this tripod arm right up against there. It just had a little bit of a little bit of extra space, so I wanted to take it up. All right, uh, got to take the tape off, obviously, before doing any connections. Now, because this slides into the dish and slides down the arm, that's nice. Uh, definitely makes it very neat looking. Um, but if it ever slides out of the dish when it's in the pole here, that's going to be a very big pain in the butt. So I'm going to actually tape it up at the bottom, make sure that there's not a lot of downward pressure trying to pull it out but for now actually there won't be any pressure I take that all back look right here Cole this guy right here is gonna stop it from slipping out so this was a perfect fit pole perfect fit our dish is on 
Okay, drop it down. Put this over there. Give this a couple turns. You don't have to go too crazy with it because that dish is not going anywhere. It's just a little bit of light torquing on it. Look at that. Locked in there. Okay, we're putting in uh, another um, tripod mount here uh, just to just under the eave here on the fascia plate. Just because of this movement here, that in the wind will cause uh, a little, quite a significant change in your signals. So we want to make this as rigid as possible. So, uh, I mean, not ideal to put it in the house in the deck. This deck is very solid though, so I'm not too worried about it right now, but eventually in the future, it could even be mounted towards uh, the canopy he has over the deck once he gets that fixed. So. Fun. So we're checking now to make sure it's level. You can see on there we're pretty level. You got to make sure it's level um, all the way around as much as possible because we're going to have a little bit of adjustment here with this one. But we're in pretty good shape because we already did it from the bottom. Check our levels. Looking like we're pretty much right bang on. Yeah. It's looking pretty good. So. And we just got to do the tighten down here. That is not going anywhere now. Look at that. Pretty rigid. Well, guys, it was a beautiful day. We got that. Uh, tripod with the extension pole successfully mounted the test resulted really good if this was at Gull Lake you can see we're at the Cummins sawmill here this was a sawmill built back in the late 1800s there um, beautiful day the results were really good if you guys are enjoying these videos make sure to subscribe down below and visit our website www.starlingcommunityforums.com become a member there and you can learn about all sorts of other things Starling thanks guys